on 21st of October 1931 Bollywood film actor Shami Kapoor was born a member of the Kapoor family he made his film debut with the commercially unsuccessful Jeevan Jyoti in 1953 He had his breakthrough with Tum Sa Nahi Dekha in 1957 which attained him the image of a stylish playboy and dancer and subsequently gained him further recognition with Dil De Ke Dekho in 1959. He rose to widespread recognition with Bollywood hit Jungli in 1961 and went on to become one of the most remarkable Bollywood stars throughout the 1960s. It's not known to many but Shami Kapoor started using the internet even before it came to India. In fact, he was the founder of several internet organizations. There were speculations that internet giant Yahoo's name was inspired by Kapoor's famous song from the film Jungli. On 21st of October 2012, the pioneer of Indian cinema Yash Raj Chopra breathed his last. Chopra was diagnosed with dengue fever and was admitted to Leelawati Hospital in Bandra in Mumbai. On 21st October, Yashraj Chopra succumbed to death following multiple organ failure. He made his directorial debut with Dhool Ke Phool in 1959 and followed it with a social drama Dharmaputra in 1961. He rose to prominence after directing the critically and commercially successful drama Vakht in 1965. His success continued in the 70s with some of Indian cinema's most successful and iconic films including action thriller Deewar in 1975 which established Amitabh Bachchan as a leading actor in Bollywood. Chopra directed musical psychological thriller Dar the first of his films with Shah Rukh Khan. He also directed three romantic films with Shah Rukh Khan, Dil to Pagal Hai in 1997, Veer Zara in 2004 and Jab Tak Hai Jaan in 2012. On 21st of October 1943, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose announced the establishment of the Provincial Government of Free India in Singapore. Subhash Chandra Bose had launched a struggle to free India from the British rule by forming a provisional government in exile during the latter period of the Second World War. Bose was convinced that it was the armed struggle that would help the countrymen to achieve independence. Under the provisional government, Bose was the head of state, prime minister and minister of war. Captain Lakshmi headed the women's organization while SA Iyer headed the publicity wing in the newly formed government. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.